Here is our table of 20 stopwatch measurements of the time necessary for a particular pendulum to swing back and forth 10 times. Scrolling down, you can see the entire list. And what we're going to do here is see the statistical functions that are used to uh, analyze a set of data like this, the basic statistical functions. So n is the number of measurements. We know that's 20, but uh, it can count it. Mean, median, mode, the maximum measurement, the minimum measurement, and the standard deviation. These are the ones that we'll uh, explore here. So in the formula bar, put an equal sign. And you can click on this button here, Insert Function, to see the uh, list of all the functions built into Excel. Now, there are, well, I don't know how many functions there are, but it's many. And you can narrow it down by category, and we're going to go with statistical. And you can see just in the statistical category, there are many. The one that tells you how many measurements you have is called count. So select that, and hit OK, and it's looking for a range of cells, and this is B4 to B23. And you hit OK, and it says, oh, there are 20 measurements. Well, we knew that already, but anyway, I wanted to show you how it's done. Click function here. For the mean, the mean is also called the average. Hit OK. We want the average of B4 to B23. OK. The average is 28.53. The median There we go. I'm just going to type in B4 to B23. The mode B4 to B23. The maximum. The minimum. and the standard deviation. So here are basic statistical functions calculated using the built-in functions of Excel.